Dan O'Rourke, Tom Chimileski, the referees, Brandon Carlitz and Von Rohde are the linesmen. We're underway with the Canadians in wild from XL Energy Center on Rogers. Hartman is on it. He'll swing it up through center. Kirill Kaprizov just couldn't get a handle on it. Dutri will send it back in. Here's Dauphin in front. Hoffman fires, scores! Mike Hoffman with a blast a minute 23 into the game and the Canadian strike first. A little shoot in that ends up getting tipped by the wild player and then another tip ends up right on the tape of Hoffman who just is cruising down the slot. There's the first tip, there's the second one and then bang, Talbot never sees it at all as Hartman is in front of him trying to block the shot. So a bit of a break for the Montreal Canadiens. They haven't had many. Got three straight games allowing 45 or more shots which has happened 16 times in NHL history as Greenway's shot doesn't get through. Goligonski reloads, hands it off for Spurgeon, fires, scores! Dino goes right to the net. A little D to D here. Good play by Goligonski to hold everybody onto him by that extra fake. That allows the lane to open up for Spurgeon, who's just back from injury. A great shot. And you can see the traffic in front. That's actually Erickson, Erickson Eck in there. And you see who's on his rear end doing all the damage. Polino is. Merrill got it across. And a quick shot by Greenway. Stopped by Greenway. Rebound scores. Polino fires it home. And the Wild take a 2 1 lead. First of all, a face-off win, another one by the Wild. A rebound because there's no way Primo can handle that as it ends up high on his shoulder, but then he gets down on the ice. Instead of just skating and coming across, he guesses that it's going to go low and loses his net completely. And they're clicking at about 53% against the Canadians at home. Oh, what a stop there by Primo. Boldy's got it back, though. Hit that Boldy can't believe. Look at this. Uh, he doesn't get all of it, and it doesn't matter. I mean, that's an unbelievable. Go back in it high in the air. It'll skip back inside the wild zone. There's Spurgeon to play it off for Goligoski. Fought up through center. by Dewey scores! Connor Dewey, his first NHL goal. Well, a harmless looking play, but look at where the Montreal defense are. They're backing right up, and that's a goal that Primo would like to have back, even though it may have hit a stick on the way in. I don't know. It doesn't look like it from that angle. Let's see here. Does it hit Petrie's stick? May have fluttered and redirected on him a little bit and fooled the goaltender, but nobody's standing up challenging him. Come up here, and an impact for Minnesota is a third-round pick in the 2018 draft. Here's Spurgeon up with it. Throws it in front, scores! Nico Sturm taps it home. And the Wild get a couple of quick ones. Spurgeon joins the attack. Lucking in back and right in front. Kulak just falls basically. Oh, we might have a... And a wide open... A lot of shot is blocked, and the Wild are on the attack, three on two. Zuccarello drops Kaprizov to Zuccarello, scores! <laughs> Zuccarello with a bank shot along the goal line and in, and it's a 5-1 game. It's a giveaway in the neutral zone. The puck doesn't get through from the point. Creates a three on two. And Zuccarello is such a smart, smart player. Knows here that Primo is cheating to the middle. And all the goalies now, they like this play when you're one knee down like that. On a bad angle. Talavaski, we've got something going on back by the play here. And uh, we've got Anderson. Zuccarello from Caprizov in 1929. And who is that on the other end of the pile? There it is, Hartman. And Anderson here trying to just do a little bit to create some energy for his team. Now he goes after the captain.
still after the captain. And here comes Hartman in to defend the captain. Away they go. And Anderson can toss them. The linesmen get in in a hurry. As, a, as an old goaltender, he'll tell you that those shot clock guys are never right anyway. That's right. <laughs> Paquette trying to come out front, got it for Pitlick, scores! Rem Pitlick, the former Minnesota Wild, gets a goal against his old team, and it's a 5-2 game. That anyway, it, right down to the other end, some good forechecking checking here as Evans does a nice job stripping the puck, and then Paquette gets it right out in front. And there is the chance that goes... Tofoli now trying to get the puck back. Good chance for Nick Suzuki shorthanded. Here's Boldy to bring it in. Caprice out for Boldy scores! And this one's even more obvious. I mean, he was a little give and go. Caprice off will find him and he just sweeps it towards the net. On the transition and right up top, and you can see here selling it. Kaprizov sells the shot, and that holds McNeven. And then, as soon as he does that, it's a little more difficult. Jeff Petrie back for Kulak off his stick. He's got a backtrack as Boldy will hand it off for Kevin Fiala. Fiala dropped it in the middle. Look at this play. Jordy Ben scores. Minnesota Wild. Well, a little turn back here. The Canadians are on a horrific change where that play is inside the Montreal zone and they're all off. And you wonder why Ben jumps in because he recognizes that. Sturm with a real nice pass and then there it is. Bang. No chance at all for McNeil. Here's Goldie with a chance trying to get it towards an end. Bouncing puck right in front. The throw can't get it but it is jammed in by Kevin see in his face and he makes a real good save here McNiven originally on Goudreau gets his pad out and then Fiala with the opportunity to just stay with it nobody knocks him on his butt there's the first good save and Romanov Sturm for the face off and this one will get done cleanly Savard dumps it in it's game over in Minnesota the wild Win it eight to two.